we have plastic heavy item that is SIM card and that is what normally customers would go and, and unplug the SIM card from the, the SIM card body and in most cases you will find the, the body uh, which is plastic is what people will throw away as plastic. The other form of plastic we have is on the airtime that we buy, that we package, you will find at the inner levels of packaging we usually protect that product with uh, uh, some a film uh, that is also plastic that is to ensure the security of that particular product. Previously we had uh, uh, purely plastic uh, packaging bags or carrier bags but that has now I'm happy to say been indebted uh, to something else that is more friendly. Uh, for SIM cards, one of the initiatives that we've implemented for uh, over the last two years has been to reduce the plastic body by 50% and also the, the material used is biodegradable material at a faster rate than uh, the normal PVC uh, bags that we, we had before. Uh, we have a lot of initiatives that we are doing with our suppliers to see how we can be able to eliminate entirely uh, the plastic. In terms of uh, the SIM card kitting, normally when you buy our SIM card, it has terms and conditions that are held in a pouch. Previously, we had a plastic uh, cover on the outside that again we have eliminated uh, completely to a biodegradable paper. So all our SIM cards in terms of the kitting aspect, uh, we've been able to eliminate uh, that for now. The status is good and uh, there, are, there is so much that we are now doing to make sure that uh, we achieve our goal of eliminating or reducing significantly uh, use of single uh, plastic for our products. Some of the initiatives that we do have uh, in the pipeline and that we are working uh, on right now, uh, obviously testing um, the viability. One is reducing the thickness of our SIM card body. Uh, the other one is uh, obviously the use of recycled materials uh, for our SIM card body. The use of uh, what we call eSIM. In future, the phone will come with a SIM card embedded on it. So there won't be any need to, to bring in uh, the plastic SIM cards. So at the moment, uh, we can see that that is already something we are implementing. Uh, even as we see the phones are there, as people continue to use digital uh, channels, that is M-Pesa and pinless airtime. That means that we also get to reduce the need to manufacture uh, these particular items and therefore reduce on the plastic that we bring. One of the key challenges we have is that most of these items are customer products and therefore when you are trying to implement all of these items it takes a lot of time to be able to test. And the other one is the element of cost. Some of these uh, materials that we get, um, again, uh, the, the, there's a cost of element. Uh, like for packaging bags, you would find the plastic was cheaper. For us, adopting woven bags, for example, meant that we had to pay extra. I think the plans are that we would want to, to be a compliant organization. We need to have combined responsibility means that we all have to take action as Safaricom uh, through supply chain to reduce on plastic then each and every one of us to take the responsibility and then we'll be able to assure uh, the future generations uh, of a good environment or a sustainable environment.